The year is 1981. The Cold War is in full swing and the most powerful people in the world are, of course, men. And then, in 1982, a woman emerges from the shadow of her celebrity husband to inspire a generation and become a feminist icon. That woman is Ms. Pac-Man. Ms. Pac-Man quickly overtook her husband to become the best-selling game in the world, featuring a strong female protagonist unafraid to eat constantly, kick ass, and look good. She sported a flashy red bow, sexy red lipstick, an alluring cheek mole, and, most significantly, a single eye. While the blind Pac-Man operated by instinct, or perhaps some kind of echolocation, Ms. Pac-Man had vision a vision of gender equality. And with four new mazes, different side exits, and faster gameplay, Ms. Pac-Man knew that nothing would be handed to her. She knew she would have to work even harder to earn what Pac-Man achieved with relative ease. And earn it, she did. Put it this way, in Pac-Man, the ubiquitous rewards like the apple, cherry, and strawberry just sat there passively for Pac-Man to stroll up and take. But in Ms. Pac-Man, the treats actually move around and evade her. Ever subtly subversive, Ms. Pac-Man was preparing a new generation of women for the stark realities of the male-dominated corporate workforce. And, since every Gloria Steinem needs her Elizabeth Hasselbeck, affirmative action was applied even to the underworld, as Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde became Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Sue. Ms. Pac-Man is also a socially conscious crusader and, in 2000, was named the official spokesperson for the National Alliance of Breast Cancer Organizations. Critics of Ms. Pac-Man have branded her a sellout for not being named Pac-Woman, which is insane, all right? Because first of all, Pac-Man is not an English word. Pac-Man is just the Ellis Island version of his real Japanese name, Pakuman. So just having the name Pac-Man doesn't ipso facto make you masculine, any more than having the name Pokemon makes you Jamaican. Oh, and second of all, Miss Pac-Man doesn't even meet her husband until the end of Act 1 after the second maze. And when she does get married, she doesn't suddenly become Mrs. Pac-Man, does she? No, she stays Ms. Pac-Man, which means she keeps her own name, motherfucker. So for all this and more, we salute you, Ms. Pac-Man, and we hope you kick the holy shit out of breast cancer, because breast cancer sucks.